hi guys welcome back so today we'll continue with our uh, reporting okay the part one is already i have uh, released the video and uh, today we'll see part two okay so uh, let me quickly uh, revise what we did in part one so this was our test case like uh, to get the total link and uh, display the link name so in part one we have uh, display the total links in our report using uh, the tql query okay this was the tql query which we written and then we um, created a folder in the reporting and uh, we have just created the structure and we have designed till uh, displaying the town so in the second part we will continue and we will display the total links name okay so total 23 links were there as per the count we have to display the all links name okay so again we have to start writing the tql okay so because in part one we have captured this google links and this value okay now we have to capture the links name from this reputation part okay because the links name are stored under reputation folder okay okay so we will again write okay let me quickly click on search tql okay click site and till actual log will be the same step okay search okay now again we have to go to sub parts okay so in the sub parts we have captured the counts from this step okay execution x step x step log and now we have to go to a repetition container log okay because our links name are saved inside a repetition folder so i will give the type okay execution container log give enter okay so i am inside that and now you see one one thing just give a and sub parts parts okay if I give some parts it is showing repetition one two three four like that how many repetitions are there like total 23 okay but we want to go inside this repetition okay we want to go inside this repetition okay so what we have to do instead of single quote you can use in such case double equals and then the same symbol arrow symbol and then click enter now you will see inside each repetition we have this step okay inside each repetition we have google and then repetition okay so for this repetition when i was using single sub parts it was showing repetition one two three which we don't want we want this google step and after that this repetition step okay so now what we will do same thing for google there is execution x x test step log execution x test step log okay execution test step log we are inside google we need only one step here okay because it's repetition it is repeating so capturing one step will suffice our requirement okay so this is x step log but if you if we go inside so enter if you go inside sub parts see again it is uh, I mean we are we are going inside this repetition which we want but it is showing all 23 we are interested in only one okay so don't get confused if it is showing multiple okay because it's a repetition x step 
value log okay give enter so now we have reached to this point our link name is stored in this step okay which is we have to select column like used used value okay if you want log info also you can select you can see maximize it see buffer with link name has been set to value and even used value okay so this was our requirement to get the links name okay so let me save this tql we have to create a structure okay see till here it is same okay till three steps it is same okay let me just see this is the tql to get the link count and this tql is tql sorry tql to get the get the links name okay okay tql to get the links name let me close this and go to this reporting folder get the links count and display the links name i will not create again separate report because this is one single test case okay in one test case only we have to create the structure so if you see this structure as i told these three steps are same okay so here also you see first execution list entry execution test case log till here it was same from here it the steps are changing so what we will do after test case uh, sorry actual log we have here links count till here steps are same so again we'll continue from here this is separate step this is separate step okay so now after actual, actual log we have execution container log execution container log this is sub parts i will just give the same name you can as i told you can give any name but make sure you are not giving the same name as above okay suppose if i give the same name as links it will show one yellow icon in the i mean if if i use the same steps okay same name you cannot use because same name it, it won't accept uh, like how it gave links name and even same steps also it will not accept just see here if i copy this and paste here okay you can see one yellow icon here that means there is some duplicate steps okay but same thing but one thing if i change if i give one here this will go yellow one so you cannot use the same step here okay even name also it will automatically change to underscore one or two so what i will give i will just give the same name here after execution container log again we are going to one sub parts which is in double equals okay and execution step log i will just right click create one table okay then here you will give sub parts then execution x step log here i will give like total links then again we have one step here which is execution x step x test step log value okay execution x test step value log and this one i will give links links name links name and here in column we'll select log info as well as used value okay 
leave name as it is okay no issues if it is there also so now my structure is ready okay the same structure if you compare execution list okay execution list execution entry execution test case log okay execution test case log after that execution container log which is execution container log execution x test step log execution te x test step log execution x test step value log the same here we have created structure now we have next part is designing so we'll continue our designing from the last uh, step where we left okay so in the first um, part we have displayed the total links and the log info okay and same we'll continue we'll create one separate table here okay and we will display the links name okay so here also the concept will be same till here it is same three steps okay so we'll right click on that and we'll create one sub element okay Great. select table and then you just expand and select your structure click ok okay now we'll create a header for our a links name table okay links name okay remove from header and footer keep it in data line okay now it's done and we have to provide the value for this column that should be at the last the last child okay as i told in the part one so here we have to provide links name dot used value used value okay click ok remove the header line footer line okay let's see the preview okay see here there is a gap between those um, columns okay those not columns rows so i told last time what we have to do we have to just give zero just see here it got changed okay links name and used value so our design is done close the print preview close it save it and then let's try it okay get the links count and display the link name preview just see here okay uh, i know the pro issue okay but if you see we got all the links name 23 links name okay 23 links name we have got but why the gap is coming i will tell you because we gave before before uh, distance zero but after difference we didn't give zero that's why okay now save it and again let's generate it check okay. perfect okay now if you see we have the total sorry total count okay we have log info as well we have total links name even you can display log info here as well okay this is what we wanted okay this is one basic report i am just telling uh, just to explain uh, i took this example okay uh, what we will do uh, we will add log info also here okay and we'll give some colors as well let's 
give color sorry color here okay and let's change it to bold size also let's change to 18 okay links name and let's add log info as well it's not required but we will add okay log info this also will change same color bold and change to 18 okay perfect okay and this also this we will change to 14 okay and color and all we don't want okay fine okay okay sorry we want here uh, log info right forgot that to add log info links name dot log info by default it is coming here okay this is 14 okay we'll add size and this will be second column <sighs> now we have to set this alignment okay log info will be with big not need and this one actually it's looking too big name we'll change the size okay font size size a 16 okay and link name and log info let's save it and let's print and check mm, okay this showing that much big column because of this weight okay you can increase the weight but our main motive was to display the count and uh, to display the links name okay so this is how we can customize our report okay we can create our own custom report okay this was just a sample one i told you can try in your project if you have any um, scenario where you want to create your the custom report okay uh, then you can use the same approach you can design it is very useful okay and let me know uh, if you face any issue and uh, uh, I am saying uh, this because once you try as I told in the first video as well once you try creating uh, the report okay then definitely you will face uh, issues okay so uh, don't worry if you face any issue just um, you can comment okay uh, once I get the time I will definitely reply 